is joining us uh, late. We'll just jump in. Um, so hello, my friends, and welcome. Happy, ooh, happy Sunday. I hope you had a good weekend. I'm going to go ahead and mute all. And um, why don't we start today in a seat? I want you to start in a seat at the top of your mat. Actually, at the back of your mat. Sorry, guys. Go to the back of your mat and just have a seat, whether it's cross-legged or sitting in easy pose. Change my mind there. And then, Karen, um, volume's good for you? Give me a thumbs up if it is. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, hopefully it is for you too, Jennifer. And as always, guys, if you feel comfortable turning on your camera, it's just a nice way for me to feel um, connected and, and feel like um, we are in real life community. We are in community virtually. <laughs> it's just um, a nice little touch, but obviously there's no pressure there. Sitting here at the back of your mat, can you um, close your eyes if you're comfortable? And really um, build your seat from the bottom up. So start by having an awareness of um, maybe the outsides of your feet, your legs, your sits bones on the ground, on the mat. And then from that place of grounding and stability, bring your awareness all the way up your spine and feel yourself get a little bit straight or a little bit taller as you move your awareness up. And hopefully your head is feel is like perfectly um balanced here in space like it's it's supported by your neck your shoulders so it doesn't feel too heavy it's it's kind of just floating here and if it's not that's that's okay to take note of that take note of um what you're feeling where you're feeling heavy hello tanya welcome And then from this place of full body awareness, can you start to um, listen for your breath? Deepen your breath. And attach some visual to it flowing through your body. So for me, I really feel it in my chest today, not so much in my belly. That's kind of like the goal. You might feel it in your chest, you might feel it in your throat on any given day. And as best you can, try to um, expand the reach of your breath. So even though I feel it originating in my uh, chest, there's like work I can do to um, send my breath further out deep into my belly, all through my lungs, my back ribs. Good, it's three. And at the bottom of your breath, start to blink your eyes open slowly. And we'll start to um, just move our shoulders, okay? Little shoulder rolls going backwards to start. 
and let the movement be nice and slow. Working to get a little bit bigger with every circle you take, a little bit more mobility here as we move. Sometimes my sentences don't make sense. A little more mobility as we move is like saying a little bit more movement as we move. <laughs> okay, let's go the other way. So you're gonna start to roll forward first. Little circles to start. And then let them grow. Get more mobile as you go. Awesome. A couple more. Good. And then once you feel complete there, I want you to just loop your fingers together, reach them out, curl forward, curve your spine. And then you're gonna reach up, straighten your spine, shoulders roll down and back. Good, let's take a little stretch over to the left. A little stretch over to the right. Keep your seats bones, uh, seats bones, sits bones down on your mat, okay? And then go over to the left. This time we'll undo our bind. We'll bring our left hand down, right arm goes up and over. Okay, and as you bring your left hand to the ground, can you keep your left arm straight? Okay, if you wanna go deeper in the stretch, rather than bending your arm, take your hand out further, okay? Keeping your right side down, your right sits bones down on the mat. Good, just one. And stay here, reach over. All right, we're gonna come up. We're gonna take our right arm under, our left arm over, make eagle arms. Okay, so eagle arms, it's either grabbing your opposite shoulders or binding fully. And then elbows to your chest. Chin comes to your chest, and you're gonna curve forward. Curve your spine. Now let your head again feel almost weightless, supported here by your chest. This time, supported by your neck. Just one. From the bottom of your spine, straighten. Okay, sit tall, nice and slow. Once you're up, you're gonna undo, undo. Give yourself a little wiggle, whatever you need. And then it's gonna be, again, interlace, push forward, curl your spine. As you inhale, you get nice and long, shoulders roll down and back. Good, start to reach over to the right this time. Good, over to the left. Back to the right. And we'll undo. So right hand comes down, left arm reaches up and over. Find your side body. Push both sits bones down. Good, breathe here. Okay, stay in. Two. One. Okay, come up, come up. We'll bind the other way. So left arm under, right arm over. Find your bind first. And then it's elbows to chest, chin to chest, roll down. Just breathe here. One. And again, from the base of your spine, you start to sit up. Engage your core as you sit up. Good, once you're all the way, you're gonna undo your bind. Undo your bind, give yourself another little wiggle. Good, and then when you're ready, you're just gonna start to call your hands forward, coming into a tabletop position. I want you to start to sway. 
good. So just sway your body from side to side. And then once you feel ready, it's big circles, nice big circles, pushing into the different parts of your fingertips, your wrists, your knees, take the weight one at a time. Good, circle the other way. Awesome, let's come to center and take it to a cat cow. As you inhale, arch your back, look up at the ceiling. As you exhale, round out. Good, inhale, arch. Exhale and round. Three like that, follow your breath, okay? You might be a little bit faster, a little bit slower than I am, depending on your, your own breath pattern, okay? And that's okay. Last one here. Okay, come to table. Come to table, you're gonna just pick up your right leg and step it through, coming into a low lunge. Okay, so right foot forward, hands to your hips, start to push forward here. Good, just breathe. Yeah, and your feet um, in this one are hip width, so I'm not stepping forward and in a line, I'm stepping like on the right side so that my feet are hip width. Oh good, now I see Janice too. Not that I didn't want to see you, Paul. <laughs> Take one. Good, stay here. <laughs> All right, and then if it's there for you guys, um, you're gonna bring your right hand down to the ground. It might be too low, so I just have to breathe here. It, it's some, if you have a prop, bring a prop down and then go for your side stretch, okay? So I like doing this one with a prop, but I never have props, so if you do, use one. Yeah, hold it just one good stay here reach okay we're gonna start to lift ourselves back up and then we're gonna crawl with our hands over to the left just finding a wide-legged fold okay so turn your toes to the left side and then hinge forward hinging from your hips you just melt ooh, all the way down it's a deep stretch for me today okay and then wherever you are if this is also a deep stretch for you and you don't want to hold it back Far, you can always come up a little bit, find a flat back, and then if you like, you go back down, whatever feels good. Awesome, just breathe. Good, stay low. Three, stay in. Two, One. Okay, follow me. Push into your hands, lift up halfway. Okay, we're gonna crawl to the top again. We're gonna find easy twist this time. So left hand down, left knee lifted if you can, and then it's right arm in the air. Okay, easy twist, looking up over your right shoulder. Good, just reach here. Hips are square. So I have opposite, um, if my right foot is down, I, I can't quite see you, Paul, but I, your right foot is down and your left hand is down. Your hips are square, so you're back in a lunge shape at the front of your mat, facing the top of your mat. Hips square to the top. Okay, just one. And then slowly, slowly, we're gonna bring our left knee down, both hands to the mat and switch. Okay, so switch, right knee goes back. Take whatever you need in the middle, a little sway, a little circle. Good, and then step your left foot forward. Karen's already there, I'm behind today. <laughs> okay, hands to your hips, let's just push. Awesome, just breathe. Good, we're here for three. Yeah, belly engaged in this one. I find this is tough on my back because I have like a very bendy back. 
So in order to compensate for that, you want to engage your core, okay? Just to protect your spine. This one. Good, stay in. And then grab your prop if you have one. Bring it down on your left side. Right arm reaches. Okay, if you don't have one, it's possible to go all the way for the ground. It's just, ooh, a much deeper stretch. Okay, three here. Stay and reach. We're just gonna do one, take it. Slowly, empty. Okay, come up. Hands to the instep of your left, crawl it over to the right. Okay, over to the right side, turn your toes that way and take your forward fold again. Okay, if, it's, if you wanna go a little bit lower, if you're feeling a little bit warmer, that's good. If not, take the same one you did before. Good, just breathe. Stay in. This is, I don't know how many of you, I think almost everyone was here yesterday. Quite the change of pace from our class yesterday. <laughs> okay, so take it slow, take your time. Okay, and then slowly push into your hands, lift up halfway. We're gonna start to crawl to the top. We're gonna find our easy twist. So you're facing the top of your mat. You're in a lunge position. Hips are square, all your toes face the front. Okay, and then it's right hand down, left arm reaches up for that twist. Good, stay here. I meant the opposite, guys. I think you all knew, but I meant um, right hand is down and left arm is in the air. Opposite of what we did before. Good, stay in. Just two. Hold here. Just one. Okay, it's a little bit different. This time, both hands come down, shoulders square. We're gonna push into our fingertips. We're gonna bend our right knee and step it to the top. Okay, step it to the top of your mat into a forward fold. And then right away, I want you to toe heel your feet to touch. Lift, halfway, inhale. Slowly exhale. Again, halfway, breathe in. Slowly exhale. One more time, flat back, breathe in. Fold and empty. On your inhale, reach up all the way, look up. Beautiful, palms together, let's just fold. Do it again, reach up, breathe in. Hands touch, we fold. One more time, all the way, look up. Good, arms to your side. We're gonna reach up. Hands to your hips, keep your right foot forward, send your left foot back, coming into a high lunge. Okay, stepping back into your high lunge, reach your arms up. Awesome, just breathe. Good, stay in. And then simple, simple, right arm drops, hips stay square, left arm reaches up and over. So this time I'm not touching the ground, I'm kind of hovering here in space. The grounding comes from your feet, okay? Your feet hold you here. Just two. Good, stay in. Just one. Okay, both arms reach up, inhale. And then finally, we're gonna flow. Hands to your mat, step it back to high plank. Why don't we start with our knees today? Drop to your knees, belly engaged, lower halfway. Awesome, chest through, breathe in. Take it back, downward dog. Feet are hip width, hands are shoulder width apart. Pedal out your feet, take what you need here. Good, breathe in. Slowly, empty. Good job, guys. Exhale all the way. Okay, to your toes. Bend your knees nice and low. Step, walk, or hop to the top. Flat back, breathe in. Forward fold. We're doing it three times, okay? Be patient. Inhale, halfway. Melt your chest. Flat back, squeeze your shoulder blades to touch. Good, melt and exhale. 
This time, inhale all the way up. Hands touch, refold. Two like that. Breathe in. Beautiful. Fold forward. One more all the way. This time, arms come down. Good. Reach up. Look up. Hands to your hips. Okay, find stability. Hands to your hips. Belly engaged. My right foot stays. My, I mean, my left foot stays. My right foot steps into my high lunge. Feet are hip width. Hold here. Reach up. Good. Settle in. Take a breath. Belly is tight. Pelvis is tilted forward a little bit, okay? And then slowly, left arm drops. Right arm reaches up and over, up and over. You've got to keep your hips square. You've got to keep your core engaged so you don't like tip right over here, okay? Zip up your back leg. Good, this one. Stay in. Okay, inhale, arms reach back up. Hands to your mat, step it back to your high plank. Drop your knees or keep them lifted as you take your low push up. Awesome, chest through. Take it back, downward dog. Slowly inhale. Slowly exhale. Just one. Good, empty. All right, to your toes. Bend your knees, step walk, hop to the top. Flat back. Good, breathe in. Now that we're warm, we're gonna inhale, reach up all the way. As you exhale, hands to your hips right away. Right foot stays, left foot steps back, find your high lunge, reach up. Good, as you exhale, you're gonna hinge forward, arms along your sides. Good, do it again, reach up, inhale. As you exhale, arms come along your sides. It's like airplane pose with our back leg down, okay? Inhale again, reach up. This time you're gonna come all the way into your easy twist. Left hand down, right arm reaches. Hold it. Good, stay in, hips are square. Left hand is down, right arm reaching up. Hips are square. Hips are square to the front, okay? Take two. Stay here. Take one. Okay, hands to the instep of your right. I want you to crawl into the side, the left side, toes turn that way. And then we're gonna twist the other way. So right hand comes down, left arm goes up. So you're facing the back of your mat. And your hips are square here. So what I like to do, you're twisting just to the back. What I like to do in this one is keep my left hand just at my low back because then I can feel that my hips are square. If you're confident that they are, then you take your arm up. Yeah, just hold. Stay here. One. Awesome, stay in. Now we're gonna take warrior one. Okay, we learned this yesterday. So crawl to the top of your mat and then set up warrior one. So my right toes face forward. My left toes are on an angle. My left toe is on the ground. Okay, now feel the difference. Inhale, reach up. As you exhale, hinge forward. You should feel a little more stable. Okay, inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge. Reach up all the way. Okay, hands to the ground, step it back. It's high to low plank, right leg can hover. Upward. Beautiful, send it back. One big breath. Slow, empty. All right, come to your toes. Bend your knees, step walk or hop forward. Halfway. Not your chest. Rise up, inhale. Beautiful, guys. Hands right to your hips. Left foot stays, right foot steps back. It's my high lunge to start, reach up. Beautiful, breathe here. 
As you exhale, you hinge, arms along your sides. Good, inhale, reach up. So feel your right toes behind you, supporting you as you hinge forward. Okay, right toes are really working there. Inhale, reach up all the way. And then simple, simple, my right hand comes to the mat, my left arm goes up, it's my easy twist, looking up over your left shoulder. Beautiful, guys. Hips square to the front of the room, to the front of your mat. Really good, just two. One. Okay, hand to the instep, let's crawl. Let's crawl to the right side. And then from your wide leg, it fold. Left hand comes down, right arm goes up. So I'm looking to the back of my mat, my hips are square. Or it's right hand at your low back if you wanna check in. Good. Everyone I can see looks good. If I can't see you, hope you feel good. Paul and anyone actually in this, if you're bending your knees in the fold, I would rather you grab a prop, okay? And stick the prop under your bottom hand because my goal for you in the wide-legged fold is always straight legs, okay? Straight legs and a hinging at your hip. Okay, and then slowly, hands come down. We're gonna crawl it to the top. We're gonna find our warrior one. So back foot turns out. Hips are still square, or you're gonna rise up. So hips are square, left foot faces front, right toes on an angle, okay? As you inhale, reach up. As you exhale, just hinge. Again, reach it up. Hinge forward. One more time, all the way up. Okay, land your hand, step it back. It's high to low, left leg might cover. Upward facing. Good, Karen, downward dog, take it back. Steady inhale. Steady exhale. One more time, come to your toes. Bend your knees, step walk or hop. Flat back. Good, bow your chest. Rise it up, inhale. Hands to your hips. Right foot stays, left foot steps back, okay? It's our last flow like this. Okay, hips square. This is what I like on a Sunday. It's like kind of the same flow, but kind of different. A little add on every time, okay? And then slowly, slowly exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, reach up. Good, exhale, hinge it. Breathe in, rise it up. This time I'm gonna hinge and I'm just gonna twist. It's my uh, twisted high lunge, okay? Palms together, I'm twisting right. If you want to play with flamingo, start to lift your back leg off, okay? We're getting ready for some balancing. So I take two. If it's not flamingo, your back toes are supporting you here. Take one. Empty. All right, hands down. Let's crawl it to the left side. One final time here. Turn your toes to the left, okay? Our deepest stretch yet is to bring your right hand over to your left ankle and twist that way. Okay, so I'm kind of like dipping my head under, my shoulder under. Again, legs straight, okay? So for this one, because it's so deep of a stretch, and if you can't quite, Karen, I can't tell, but if you can't quite reach your ankle on the other side, just bring your legs a little shorter, okay? That's totally fine. I want you to feel like you have a good grip on your outer ankle. Good, breathe here. Stay in empty. Just one. Okay, let's crawl back to the top. Back to the top, set up your warrior one, okay? You might have to step your left foot out as you rise up, breathe in. So hips are square, back heel is planted down, okay? As you exhale, hinge forward. Awesome, let's go, breathe in, reach up. Exhale, hinge. I don't know if you saw this coming, but we're gonna reach up all the way. This time I'm kicking off and I'm finding airplane. Airplane pose. Zip up your back leg, hips are square. This is, I know, like I find that 
us adults <laughs> struggle the most with balancing, okay? And I want you to just go for it. The worst thing that can happen is you fall out, okay? Take one. Stay here, empty. All right, I want you to reach up all the way. Knee to chest. If it's there, straighten your leg out. Good, just two. Stay lifted. This one. Stay in empty. Ooh, I want you to hinge one more time. Reach your leg up. This is st uh, standing split. So I'm moving my hands to the mat. I'm straightening my left leg as best as I can into the air, okay? It's not about actually looking like you're in the splits. It's more about feeling that your leg is straight, your top leg is straight. Good, hold here. Stay in reach. Just to hold it straight. And then simple, simple. We're gonna start to bend our standing leg. We're gonna land our left toes behind us. Right leg goes up and back. Okay, you flow through. Upward. Good, meet me in downward dog. Paddle out. Slowly, empty. Okay, last little flow. Come up to your toes. Bend your knees, step walk or hop. Halfway. Out your chest. Rise up all the way. Hands to your hips. Left foot stays, right foot steps back. Find your high lunge. Hips square, guys. Back toes supporting you here. Big breath. As you exhale, just hinge. Lean forward on your foot, your back foot, okay? Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hinge it. Again, reach up. Palms together, I hinge left, I twist. Back leg straight. If you want, lift off. Ooh, try it. Good, hip square. Hold your twist to the left. Try it, okay? Even if it's just a twist with your toes down, hold with me. Stay in twist. Okay, hands come down, I'm gonna crawl. I'm gonna crawl to the right side. I'm gonna turn all my toes that way, okay? Feet a little bit narrower, it's totally fine here. Take that, and then take your left hand to the outside of your right ankle. Right arm reaches up, okay? Deeper twist, keep your hips square, keep your legs straight. Yeah, guys, if you want it's your right arm in the air if you like you're gonna bind your you're gonna take your right hand and just hook, hook your left hip i feel like a little pretzel when i do that okay just hold for two stay in it's one stay here empty okay let's go now let's go over here let's go ten you're gonna crawl to the top you're gonna crawl to the top, step your back foot about halfway out so you can rise into warrior one. Warrior one, left side, okay, hip square. Good, inhale, reach up. As you exhale, hinge it. Feel your back foot supporting, but feel your front foot supporting as well, okay, reach up. Exhale and hinge. One more time, let's reach up. And just go for it, like leap forward. It's your airplane. Okay, the worst thing that can happen is you don't make it. You just try again. Hip square. Chest lifted. Straighten your back leg. Again, I don't care how high, I care how straight. Awesome. Oh, good, Jenna. Stick here. One, <laughs> one here. All right, and then slowly, slowly, you're gonna hinge. It's either right leg in front, arms up, right leg straight. Bent or straight. Good, just two. Cora is working here. It's just one. Then we hinge again. We hinge again. This time my hands come to the ground. It's my standing split. Zip up your top leg. So hands are down. The first step, the first iteration of a standing split is that your hands are down shoulder width apart and you're just working to balance. 
The second iteration is to play with balance and bring one hand or maybe both hands to your bottom ankle. Hold it here. But just breathe. Two. Just one. And then simple, simple. You're gonna start to bend. You're gonna start to land your right toes down. Once you're there, hands to your mat. Sweep your left leg up and back. And then shift forward, high plank to low. Upward. Good, downward dog. Simple, simple today. Drop to your knees. We're gonna go for puppy pose. I don't often do this in a vinyasa, but it feels right today. So this is how you're gonna look. You're at the back of your mat on your knees, or in the middle, okay? Hips stay up, you start to come down. Here you go, step one, on your forearms. Step two, keep your hips stacked over your knees and bring your chest to the ground. Just take some breaths here. Good, slow inhale. Slowly exhale. Good, it's three. Two. Slow it down. Just one. Okay, and then you're just gonna start to shift forward and come to your belly. Come to your belly, take a little rest, okay? Relax your hands under you. Maybe you bring one side of your head to the mat, wiggle out your head. Yeah, let your low back release here if it was feeling a lot of tension in that previous pose. Okay, forehead to center, arms along your sides. You're gonna lift up into locust pose. So lift up, arms to your sides, legs up, okay? So I'm hugging in my arms, I'm hugging in my legs, I'm balancing her on my pelvis. I'm gonna come here and show you. Good, nice and tight for two. Stay lifted. Just one. And then slowly, slowly bring your hands back, make your pillow, bring the opposite side of your head down. Wiggle out. Go ahead, empty. Funny story for you guys before we go up again. So my bookshelf here has, the bottom row has like all my children's books. <laughs> and I'm always in insecure when I'm teaching Zoom because I'm like, are people gonna look and think this is what I read? It's just my ch children's books, the other books are good, okay? You're gonna come to center and you're gonna lift up again. So you're gonna lift up again into your locust pose, like straight, arms straight behind you. If you wanna go a little tiny bit deeper, I want you to interlace your fingers, keep your palms touching and find it, okay? Find a little bit higher, a little bit more lift in this one. With your hands kind of pulling you back, hold it here. Good, slowly empty. Just two, stay in. Yeah, you got it, take one. Okay, bring yourself down, keep your head forward, hands to your low ribs, a little lift, baby cobra. I meant your shoulders, under your shoulders, good, slowly lower. Again, slowly lift. Good, lower down. One more, little cobra. Good, lower. Now it's hands to low ribs. Let's bring it all the way up into upward facing dog. Beautiful, and take yourself up and back to your final downward facing dog. Final down dog here, pedal out, take what you need. Slowly, empty. Just one. And slowly, slowly. I want you to just crawl your feet to the top of your mat. Get your feet wide so they're outside your hands and then squat low, it's Malasana. Palms together, knees wide, squat low. Just breathe. Since today is like the day, 
of side bending. We're gonna do a little bit of side bending here in Malasana. So step one is to bring right hand down, take your left arm up, little side stretch. And then if you wanna play with the bind, you're gonna bind, so right arm in front, left arm behind your back, and then look up over your left shoulder. Good, just breathe. This one. And then just switch, okay, whatever you were doing. So left hand down, right arm up, that's step one. If you wanna go for the bind, go for the bind, look up over your right shoulder. This is a good one to learn with like a strap or a belt or something. Two here. This one. Okay, come to center again. And then simple, simple today, guys, we're gonna drop our bum down. Right when we do, we're gonna grab our big toes. Okay, and we're gonna slowly lower, core tight as you lower down, okay, into happy baby. So it's either keep your hands at your big toes, move your hands to the outside edges of your feet, or grab onto your ankles. And grabbing ankles is a little bit easier, and I like to, do this one just so that I can really ground. I want you to ground your low back, your shoulders into the mat. Just breathe here. Two. One. Okay, from here, let your legs go and just send them up into the air, finding your inversion. Okay, it's waterfall, it's shoulder stand, if there's a headstand or different inversion you're working on, take it. And same thing here, I want your primary focus to be grounding through your spine, your shoulders, your low back especially. And the rest of your time or our time together today is going to be self-led, okay? So you have a few minutes. If you wanna hold this a little longer, you hold it. If you wanna do some twisting, some supine twists, you can do that. And if you want a longer Shavasana, you'll make your way into Shavasana now. All right, and remember when you come out of this pose to let your feet dangle. I want you to enjoy that moment the blood rushing back in. you're doing like keep that going in the next couple moments you'll settle into your rest okay so you can have a little bit of time
if you haven't found Shavasana yet, get there. Just you can take a minute of stillness here on your mat, okay? A minute of not engaging muscles, not stretching, not controlling your breath. Let everything kind of slow down here. Now, as your body finds stillness, can you let it get really heavy on your mat? Shavasana is like one of the rare poses where we are grounding through our entire body. And then slowly, slowly, you're going to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Reach your arms overhead, take a full body stretch. And roll into the fetal position on one side. And with your eyes closed, find a seat at the top of your mat. Palms together at your heart center. Just take one big breath in today. Open your mouth and sigh. Thumbs to your forehead center. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. Hopefully.